I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think, I think it's dumb people talking about smart, smart shit. shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Show. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Uh, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. And we got a special guest in the building, man. Uh, he likes to refer to himself as Black Famous. Um, I just think he does his thing. Gary Owen Comedy is here. I am Black Famous. <laughs> I think you're famous, famous, Gary. Famous, but I'm black famous. So, like, you like, like every black person knows Gary Owen. Not, at, well, they know my face. I don't know if they know my name. Yeah. <laughs> but they know my face. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's funny, though, because most black comics want to be white famous. Gary embraces being black famous. My thing is, find an audience. I don't yeah, care who yeah, it is. Yeah, but yeah. If, you can, if you're lucky enough as a comedian to find your audience, yeah. just find it. I could be wrong, but I feel like when you have a black audience, it feels like you're more broader than just having a specific white audience. And the reason I say that is because black people, blackness is so ingrained in culture. Mm. So if you're in the culture, you know this person if he's part of the culture. It's mad white people that are super famous. I have no idea who they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So maybe that's it. So maybe it's like the people who are famous to black people are more mainstream famous. Are you trying to say black culture is mainstream? It is. So it's white, been that way. So white famous is being niche. I think white, I think so. And I think it's kind of like corny in a way. <laughs> like, because black, black. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> when you're part of black culture, like hip hop, blackness, that's pop culture. That's been the most popular culture for the past at least 25 years. Right. Easy. Easy. I was shocked yeah. that and I saw you went to Italy and I was, I was DMing him because I went to Italy probably three weeks before he did. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a funny thing happened. So we get the Amalfi Coast and these four guys from Ireland. Go, hey, are you Gary Owen? And I said, shut up. Like, I had I'd never been overseas, really. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was like, shut up. So I got a picture, and they said, okay, here's what's funny about this picture. One guy's name was Gary. The other guy's name was Owen. So you just got a picture with Gary Owen. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Shut up. <laughs> really? They did it on purpose. Said, Let me wow. see your ID. The dude's name was Gary whatever, and the other name was Owen whatever. Wow. And I was like, I was like, I didn't know you guys knew me in, in Ireland. I had wow. no clue. Gary how, dope is, uh, how dope is Italy? Oh my God. It was good. The Amalfi Coast? Yeah, it was great. And I went with the right friend because my buddies. Yeah, who'd you go there with? Uh, Aren't you divorced? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I went with that group. There's Gary got trolled. Group. Gary got <laughs> trolled. <laughs> hey, you hey, got a group? <laughs> hey, Gary got trolled as soon as he sat down. What is he that? was like, what's the Wi-Fi password? And she was like, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> 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 so I'm not, it's like this. So I don't have Wi-Fi right now. <laughs> <laughs> but you went with a group of friends. We went with a group, and uh, I went the right group. A couple guys had already been, yeah. So they knew how to navigate, yeah. So they are the ones that they reserved. They reserved the yacht the day they, you got to get a yacht, and they knew exactly yeah. what little restaurants. And it's all about the day. Day clubs are different in Italy than they are yes. in the United States. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. It's really you eat and like hang out. Guys, with, yeah, it's and it, and it was great, man. Because like you'll be sitting there, and all of a sudden, like these group of people will just start singing. Yeah. And dance and the song will come on. The guy will come over. Like if you ordered like Dom Perignon, the guy would come over and like open it and he'd spray in everybody's mouth and he never missed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. you know, just yeah. dance and stuff. I got all oh, they get it over here. They completely yeah. get life over here. Yeah. Especially the mafia. I like the mafia coast better. I went to Florence, Rome and mafia coast. Yeah. Fly like Florence better than Rome. You like Florence better than Rome. Mm -hmm. Really? Why? Rome was just big. Yeah. It was just big. Yeah. Florence felt like. This is an Italian city because yeah. you almost had to walk everywhere. And it's funny because like, when you were over there and we'll watch you guys drunk and everything since I just left, I was trying to figure out, do I know where they're at? Yeah. You're trying to figure it out. Like, I yeah. think I know where they're at. Yeah. I think Florence I know that street. cool. I just, Rome is like, you're looking at like thousands of years of history. I, I like Does I it like feel history. like you fell? Does Rome feel like it yeah, fell? Yeah, yeah. No. And, I, and that's the thing. It's like countries like rappers, like they're the last ones to know they fell off. <laughs> like we we could we America could have fallen off. You know what I mean? I think like, America has, but bro. we don't we will never know. We don't know it. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. so it's like I mean, if you're in Rome, you're walking around, you're seeing these like structures that were built thousands of years ago and you're like, "Oh, wow, I'm in the greatest city that's ever existed." There's not even a question. And if you grow up in that, you're probably going well, yeah, this is the greatest city that's ever existed. Like, Are you doing a movie role, bro? Say again? Are you doing a movie <laughs> no, role? <no. laughs> I'm looking, 
I'm like, is this show? Like, I'm looking at the mustache <laughs> with the slick back hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, this is that happily married uh, glow. I'm, I'm Italian. Are you <laughs> <laughs> happily married? Well, I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm like, this is new. Like, the way you walk in with the shades and everything. Hey, bro, it's raining out. <laughs> You sure you ain't growing a mustache up. for the roll and roll? Like, no, bro. It just takes me so long to grow a mustache. You said, I Fuck finally it. had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also yeah. going to Burning Man next week, and I was like, uh, you know, let me get funky a little bit. Are they bringing Burning Man back? Yeah, it's the first year in a while. In a while. Wow. Gary, we need to get you to Burning Damn. Man. Damn. You guys missed that whole back and forth. What? Like something, he said cheating. I went, I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you, Gary. Gary. I just, <laughs> just laughed, and I was over I, here like You this. know what it is? Gary just did Breakfast Club. I Can know we he, talk about Sheehan and Gary doing it? I don't think. I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> Gary said a lot on Breakfast Club. I don't know what he wants to say. This comes out oh. after Breakfast Club, though. Oh, oh wait, why? Wow. Yeah. This up? pod up? comes out after. Isn't it weird? When Can we I, say when we I did say? your guys' podcast the first time three years ago? Like, he was married. He was a single one. Yeah, I was oh, married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Look. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So you might be, you, comes out your That's your future <laughs> show. <laughs> you heard a white lady. Good. Bro, well, did she take? I know she took your ACL, but what else did she yeah. take in the, uh, in the divorce? It's not over. Oh, really? Still not over. Oh no! no. So you don't want to talk about anything now? We, I mean, we can talk a little bit, but it's like we got mediation uh, in next week, and that's going to be a couple times. And if that don't work, we go to trial in October. Oh God! Why do you need to go to trial? Yeah, why can't I you hope just... not? It's I, it's a lot of stuff. Like, I, I can't say until it's over. Yeah. But. So you shouldn't even talk about it right now because this could be used against you in court, right? That's I mean, what I'm afraid of with the breakfast club. I didn't say anything bad. You didn't. You didn't. I was very... I, you can you can say the truth. Yeah, yeah. The which truth is, is the which truth. Is, which is what? The truth was I said it on his... I left. This is like, what we, the narrative is that she left me because I got yeah. caught out there. Oh. No, no, no. I filed first. I wanted the divorce. Oh. I wanted out. That think, was what... That's what happened. I think it's an important conversation because you and, and I told Gary that you never hear men say that they are uh, they were emotionally disconnected. That's yeah. something that's always seems like it's reserved for women. They're mm. like I was emotionally disconnected. That's why I ended up, you know, going out there to cheat because you know I wasn't getting what I needed at home emotionally. I never heard that from a man before, mm. personally. I think that's a great conversation. Well, and it's also what I what I said is we always when a divorce happens we always go what the guy do. Mm -hmm. We yeah. always immediately go, what the guy do? We never say, what the woman do also? Oh. Yeah. And like, you know, what there's she, always, there's what always two do? things that happen. Two, a bad marriage isn't one person in marital bliss. Yeah. And the other person's miserable. Yeah. yeah. So it's like when I called her and said I wanted the divorce, I was like, I was literally like, look, I want you to be happy, but I'm not the guy that can make you happy at this point. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I just can't. I was like, it's when little things that shouldn't bother you, bother you. Yeah. I've heard other comedians talk about it on stage, but I was like, oh my God, it's happening to me. What was your little thing? Uh, like, what? Okay, for example, this, she can't get mad at this because it's me. It's, she did nothing wrong. Yeah. She took a bite, some food one time. And she goes, mm, ah, good. And I was like, the fuck's so good about it? <laughs> what? <laughs> I look, I'm at the table going like this. Mm, ah, good. What? And she did it again. I go, I'm out. Fuck this shit me by myself. <laughs> you just mad because she was happy about like, her I, meal? Just her going, mm, ah, uh, good, bother yeah. me. Yeah, and she did yeah, yeah. nothing wrong. That's how yeah. she felt when you probably bit into a glizzy and it was like, ooh, good. She'd What's like, a glizzy? <laughs> <laughs> What's a glizzy? <laughs> I don't even know what a glizzy is. A glizzy is a hot dog, but it's like a big joint, like when it's hanging out the bun. So it's like the <laughs> All meat. gluten free. Yeah, the meat is hanging out the bun and you bite into it and you enjoy it. You have a man, they're like, ooh, ooh. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to get your Maybe. emotional connection somewhere, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I, didn't thank, I thank you for doing the show last week, too, man. Uh, Gary did a hell of a week last week and um, had him in between Flame Monroe and our guy, uh, Chiose, legendary son of uh, Combat Jack. Oh, wow. You know? How was it? <laughs> I didn't know the other dude was gay. Dude. We started talking. Oh. So I was like, I knew Flame, obviously. And yeah, then the yeah. guy, I went, oh. And I wouldn't know if he <laughs> wanted us to know. So you were the glizzy. I you guess. The glizzy. I was the dog in between the buns. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, <laughs> yo, I'm looking around going, what? Is, uh, okay. Gary was like, I feel like this is a setup. <laughs> yeah, I did. I feel like I was in a little Nas X video. You, <laughs> you were just around two humans, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, so, they were both good people. 
Yeah. But we don't but, <laughs> <laughs> but we don't talk about emotional disconnections enough, yo. That's the biggest thing in any relationship. Oh, yeah. If you're not emotionally connected to a person, I mean, there's I nothing there. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Like, you're in marital bliss right now. Like, you're I like, mean, it's not in. bliss. But, like, it's, what I told him is, like... Marriage is hard. With, is yeah. it? Yeah. If you want to do it right. This I is what I knew. I told Charmaine when I knew it was over was when the thought of her being with somebody else didn't bother me. In the least. That's when I knew. I go... Oh, this is, this ain't good at all. Interesting. You know, because I, I would think of a woman that you love and you're married and you know what you're going through. Yeah. The thought or her going to somebody else, if it don't hurt, it's like this. It didn't, it but wouldn't that's hurt. that's ego right there, don't you think? What? Like the idea that like she would cheat on you. I guess it's like heartbreak your family's over. I don't know. Like what was always more painful for me was kind of what you're describing. Like, and I thank God I haven't felt that in this relationship. And that's what I love about this relationship that I'm in right now. But like in past relationship, like if I was emotionally distant or whatever you said, yeah, like yeah, if yeah. I, if I felt like there wasn't something there, every second that we were together felt excruciatingly painful. Yeah. yeah. So it was every second was that mm, good. Ah, or whatever. Yeah, like yeah. That's where I was at. Yeah. And, and that, I don't yeah. know how people put up with that, but my talents for that is like nothing. And I think that's when I knew, like, the, when I was dating, who was my now wife, I was like, oh, this is going to be the woman I'm going to marry because I love spending time with her. And there was never that feeling of like, ugh. Where'd you guys meet? Uh, DMs. No way. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. You jumped in the DMs, bro? She jumped in the DMs. Wow. She said, you funny? I don't know what she said, to be honest with you. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. She was like, yeah, yeah. How many funny years ago was that? This is, I don't know, years, years Now, how ago. do you distinguish who to respond back to on some, like... How they look in the pictures? <laughs> <laughs> but so I'm talking about... I, what, I just look what? at their pictures, <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, are they really hot? <laughs> and then if they're really hot... That's true. I we always respond. try to, like, yeah, dissect oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, how what did you think I was going to do? Like, her birthday know. or something like that? We, but you ended up marrying her. That's different. Like, well, yeah, then she had a dope personality, and then we connected, and everything worked out. It was beautiful, you, but... But initially, it's just, you know, you're going to look and see. I like that. Yeah. We always try to overthink things. We do. Just like when you say, why you like black women? I'm like this. My dick gets hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, pretty yeah. much it. It's not just yeah. a fetish for you, though. You married a black woman. I like. I like everything about it. I like the culture. Yeah. The music. I like everything about that goes with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I do. I like. I said to you, it's like it's like being gay. Gay guys know they're gay. Why? I, they don't know. So you're They're black just gay. gay. You're no, black woman I'm gay. I'm not. Yeah, I'm black woman gay. I am Missy Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it's very, um, I don't know, man. It's interesting. I don't ever want to be in that situation because you, you made me think when you said uh, you don't love a person when the thought of them being with somebody else doesn't bother you at all. So what about swingers? That's the thing. Like, that's why I'm saying I think some of that is ego and then some of that is or maybe that's just how you present your relationships. But like there are these swinger people that that bond is there. They love each other so yeah. much and they're not attached to their, I guess, the sexual side. I could never do that shit. I can't I'm do way it too insecure for that. And what about but the guys? who? I don't even like when my girl laugh at other motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. things, though. Some motherfuckers are funny. Gay guys, sure. <laughs> she laughed at this straight guy who jumped this similar on. to my and, and, and yeah, fire. Yeah. Andrew keeps firing his openers. Yeah. What's wrong? Yeah, what fucking yeah, wife's laughing at you? Yeah. You show up to the show when I get on stage. <laughs> and you sit down in the green room with me. <laughs> and I go, I need you chuckling at these motherfuckers. So what about guys who like to see their women get fucked by the guys? Cuckholds. Cuck, there you go. Uh, Cuck I'm holds. not in that yeah. world. I'm You're saying. Like, that. I'm not in that world at all. Will you enjoy watching another dude blow your yeah, girl's yeah, back yeah, out, yeah, basically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm not in that world. So I guess it's about your preference, I guess, or what you I think those, those guys have some, like, trauma that they're probably dealing with, and, you know... They, oh, they don't got enough dick? So being that they don't have enough dick, they don't mind bringing in somebody else to provide what they don't have? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that... Mm -mm. I think that my not wife... Mm -mm good? <laughs> yeah, my wife doesn't need that. <laughs> mm -mm. You know what I mean? Does your wife, like... Even if your wife was like, oh, I wish you had a little more dick, you'd be like, no, you don't. Nigga, please don't ever. I said, nigga, I called you. Yeah. Please, <laughs> please don't ever. Women, please don't ever tell your man no shit like that. <laughs> God, God damn. damn. I wish you had a little bit more dick. Can you, it's over. I'm getting a divorce. Bro. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. There's nothing. I can oh, never. Yeah, have a thanks, Charlamagne. That's, that's exactly what she's going to say now. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this. I told him he well, didn't have enough coming. dick. 
<laughs> Bro, I thought my dick was shrinking. Did I tell you this? No. I went to the doctor last week. What happened? Because I thought my dick was getting small. Talk to me. <laughs> the floor is no, yours. The out. floor is yours. No, I'm serious. What happened? I didn't tell you this. I'm no. going to get an ultrasound on my balls tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I thought my dick was getting small. Why? Because I don't know. It was like sitting on my balls different. And, my, and, then I re- and then I was like, oh, maybe my balls are getting bigger. So I went to the doctor. Balls probably getting bigger with age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or with cancer or some shit. So I'm like oh, freaking shit. out. And I have a lot of like veins in one of my left testicles that I got checked out a while back, whatever. Anyway, I go and I'm like, and I'm asking him like, you know, he's checking the balls or whatever like that. My doctor's gay, by the way. And uh, so gay dude just rubbing up the balls. He's like, you got nice balls. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I mean, fine. say something. Don't <laughs> yeah, be neutral. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Don't be this quiet is, at a time like right this. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, risking yeah. monkey pox for this. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I go, so I go. So I'm like, I'm like, so I get the ball check and I'm like, you know, for that like cancer or whatever. But then I asked him what I really want. I was like, I was like, yo, can I ask you a question? And he's like, he's like, yeah, this is what you do here. And I'm like, yo, can your dick get littler? And, uh, and uh, and I'm he's like he's like no, and um, <laughs> I go he go I go he goes why do you think that I go I don't know like I just my dick and he goes he goes can I be honest with you he goes yeah he goes since the last time you were here uh <laughs> last time you were, you've gained uh, twenty pounds which was three years ago oh. so he goes you're just getting fatter. So you can see less of your dick. That's what we talked about last week. <laughs> we, didn't we talk about this last week? We were talking about how big, if you're seven foot three, 320, you might have an average size penis, <laughs> yeah. but it doesn't look like that on your frame. So I'm looking in the mirror, sucking in to see if my dick looks no, like No, look, for real, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm having the opposite problem. Wait, really? Dick's getting dick big, yeah, but it's because I'm losing. That's a problem? No, I love it. Yeah, my wife loves it. She's actually said that. She said the opposite of what you said five She's like, minutes is your ago. Dick getting bigger? She was like, I think your dick's getting longer. So it's like the Whoa. confidence is like, yeah. But isn't that fucked up? You get fat in every part of your body, but your dick. I think it's fucked up that we can't have any surgery on Man, our. Dicks. Think about that. Yeah, we can. Yeah, it ain't worth. You it. could chop it off, dude. No, I don't want that. But that is surgery. On no, it. I'm talking about like they. they no, got that the... is weird. You can cut your dick off. <laughs> what? Like <laughs> you can cut your yeah, dick was off. Yeah, was it bob it? You ran a bobbit? Oh, you heard that? No, this guy. He got to reattest. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. guy Bigger. just cut his testicles off. He was having a dream that he was slicing meat. Oh, no. And so oh, he God. said he woke up with him cutting his testicles oh, off. Oh, no. I think oh, he's no, lying. Crazy. I think he's lying too, yo. Mm. And the reason I think he's lying is because, like, we've all peed in our sleep. You've had that dream that yeah. we were peeing and we, you know, yeah. got, mm-hmm. th- thought we was at the toilet. We peed in the bed. Yeah. It's too much. You got to grab the knife. Yeah. Then you, cut you, yourself and feel nah, the pain. You got caught, bro. I don't believe that. Yeah, you got caught. That pain is yeah. something you definitely wake up to. Yeah. You don't just fall. Keep, keep, keep cutting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nah, he lying. Damn, yeah. Gary. That is crazy, though, that Lorena Bobbitt's husband got her dick. Wait, his she cut dick, his dick cut, off. Cut, cut his, his dick, dick off. off. And then they just put Threw it, it though. On. Threw it out the window? Yeah. Threw it out the window. The fuck? You cheated on me, bro. But then he just got to put it back on same size. <laughs> <laughs> then you start getting into porn. That's the problem. That you can only get girth. But you like, can't get no length. You're not going to, like, I don't know, I'd be tight at the doctor. I'd be like, really? Like, because you got another chance at dick. <laughs> what? You know what I mean? Like, you got another <laughs> chance at whatever dick you want. Like, and then they just made it the same I didn't way. Even, I just looked at you. I didn't want to go, yeah. <laughs> 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 I was just, like, staring at Andrew going like this. <laughs> Are you really scared your wife's going to say uh, he didn't have enough dick? Uh, she may, eventually. Really? I don't think it's not true. But who say she can't say it? This shit got to be the worst ever, though, man, to have something like this playing out in the public and it's your wife or your ex-wife because you but can't respond the way you like, would. It's like she was never like that. She was never like posting a lot and on the yeah. attack. And then it just went, I go, what just happened? I think it was, you know, I you, you say in the back of your brain, you're like, I got to be ready that when I say I want a divorce, people might come out of the woodwork. She could start checking up on people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Checking up on your past and everything. Cause they never just think, Oh, he's, he was unhappy. It has to be a reason yeah. why I'm unhappy. By the way, that hurts though, man. Just to say, yo, I'm unhappy. I need more of a reason. <sighs> you don't just say you, you mean you was unhappy. Like what, what does that even Everything mean? bothers you. Everything. <sighs> everything bothers you. And That's you feel hurt. like you're just, you're in a dark place and you're like, I'm never getting out of this. How yeah. old are your kids? They're all over 18. Which Chris. is important, you know? Uh-huh. My yep. son's 21, my daughter's 20. 
maybe that's a little bit of part of it. What's that? Like the family is grown. So you feel maybe less of a responsibility to keep that thing together. Those family vacations are nice. And like having that family unit. Oh, I definitely stayed in it because of the kids. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The last few years. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. And now his kids won't talk to him. Yeah. It's been about a year and a half. Nothing. Gary's hurting on the inside, bro. Well, the kids part hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're a Debbie and you have no emotional attachment, it's different. But when you were like there. Yeah. Like you were, I was there. And everybody, everybody knows it. Like everybody in the business, they know I, I yeah. split town or I couldn't make this event and everything because, you know, so-and-so. So it was just like. And why are they so upset? I don't know. They're not talking to me. But I, the, I do know this. I yeah. know my dad didn't help the situation. I, I talked about that. <laughs> well, on what his, did your dad do? Oh, my God. <laughs> so I, was, I went to Sedona. I went to Sedona. I went to Grand Canyon, right? Yeah. I went with this girl. I'm seeing At this point, this is June. You took we her we separated. Malfi? You took her to Malfi too, or we separated in January, <laughs> wow. right? Man, we separated crazy, in January. Bro. That's wild. That is wild, right? bro. Huh? How how many times did you and your wife go to Malfi? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. You're, wow. When you're when you're out, listen. When you're out of the relationship, you don't want to go with that person. Like I don't want to go on a, know, a long vacation with you. It would drive me crazy. I'm yeah, busting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I I I give an example when I knew. during COVID, right? I walk my dog every day, every day, dog. <laughs> same route, same route, right? She woke up one morning. She goes, I'm going to go. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to walk the dog to tomorrow. I said, all right. Five minutes, we're in an argument. Walking the dog, I go, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah. You're just like, she goes, you can't turn there. I go, I, I turn it because we lived in, uh, we, we, the house was um, behind his vineyard. Mm-hmm. So I was like, we always walk. We, I mean, the dog, we always walk by the vineyard, but it says no trespassing, but nobody's there. It's COVID. Right. So I was like, we walk this route every day. Yeah. And now she's telling me I can't go this route. I'm going, oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. So it was like little things. So you're not trying to travel with your wife. It's like, that's why when you brought that up, I mean, your point's valid. Yeah. I just there's no I was getting on a plane that long and spending a week. It would would drive me crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's got. I, I, I what just, about therapy? What was the What was the point of this? Like we was getting at something. You saying you're done with black chicks? No, I did not say that. <laughs> you're like, no, he's all in with black. Walk women. the dog, right? Remember no, you saying that? Like, no, no, white Oakland, girl knows Oakland, how to walk a dog. Oakland black chicks. I'm done with. White girls walk dogs <laughs> the best. That's what you're saying. You're like, you ever see a white woman with a dog? Walking? There was a point to this. You, no, you all the, oh my dad, my dad, yeah, yeah, my dad, your dad. Yeah. yeah, so my dad, he, uh, uh, he. I went to a long story short. I went to a Reds game. Okay. And I got a suite because I'm avoiding a process server. So I was like, I can't sit in the stands. <laughs> so I called, I called like seven, eight of my boys up yeah, and I yeah. said, yo, meet me at the the Reds game. I got a suite, <laughs> no <laughs> pictures, no videos, no social media. Everybody was cool with it. I don't know. My dad found out I came in town when the Reds game text te- left me a voicemail the next morning. I got the voice on my phone still. He goes, Hey, it's your fucking dad. You don't respect me and shit. I'm going, what? What's he mad about? He never says why he's mad. Sends me a long text how I don't include him in stuff. The sense of entitlement is amazing. And you say your dad was a deadbeat. Never around yeah, growing yeah, up. Yeah. And then then he's like, I'm like, he cusses me out and he leaves this long text. So I called him and then we got in an argument over everything. And then he said some curse words to me. I cussed him out, hung up. The picture I took at the Grand Canyon of me and the girl that I sent to like four or five people in like a group chat. He sent that picture to my ex-wife. That's how what you did, get for bragging, though. How to get guys. to him? Huh? How to get to him? I sent it to him. Flexing? No, no. I kept up. <laughs> no. See, Flex, you there was a close you group. You could have been here if you weren't a deadbeat. <laughs> huh? What's that? <laughs> That's what you said to your dad. You could have been here if you weren't a deadbeat. <laughs> I know he's mad about the Super Bowl. Yeah. I know what folks mad about. What was your caption with the picture in the group chat? Like moving on. No, move no, on. no. <laughs> but people was asking, like they would ask, like, yeah. you know, they. No, this is what he said. You at the Grand Canyon. This is that conversation. <laughs> if I was here with you, I'd jump off this no, shit. No, yeah. the, the no, no. Text, the Gary Grand probably Canyon. Put, Gary probably put another one. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday's price is not today's price. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday's <laughs> wife is not, not today's, today's wife. wife. <laughs> yeah. no. I don't. We got Honestly, guys, like, the conversation amongst people was like, he when he called me right when we got to Grand Canyon, he said, um, <laughs> he said where you at? I said, the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Who you with? A friend of mine. Do I know him? I said, it's not a he. He said, oh, shit. He asked he, to see who I'm with. So I sent the pic, uh, yeah. right? He asked, so I sent it. So anyways, he sent that pic to my ex. 
Then he posted on his Facebook Hater, page bro. with the middle finger emoji in front of it. Hater. <laughs> then he posted a picture of my ex-wife and was like, I got your back to this divorce. You've always been like a daughter to me. I'm like, my motherfucker. He couldn't stand her. Like they they didn't get along like that. So I was he like, he just hates you. Man. Why? You're mm-hmm. such a likable dude, man. Now, question. Did your family know that you had moved on? Nobody knew. Nobody saying, knew I so wanted to divorce. When you picture to the group chat, they're looking like this No, guy. this is in June. Okay. The I- shit got announced in March. Oh, got you, got you, got you. This right, is right, got months you. after got shit you, got, got announced. You. We haven't separated since January. Got you, got you, got you. So this is six months later. Yeah. After oh, I already damn, said I wanted daddy. out. This ain't new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. this ain't like I did this before the shit hit the fan. This yeah. all after the shit hit the fan. Got you. My dad, I was just like this, you dirty motherfucker, man. You dirty. Damn, Gary. And, you know, and then they, and then my openers, you know how you, in the road, you got to trust your openers, man. Wait, they, he fired all his openers. Dirty. All of them gone? All of them. How many did you have? Two. Wow. Both gone. Wow. Why? Once, still talking to her. I'm like, what? Why'd they choose up with her? They didn't. They just like drama. Especially the one. So he came to, here's, here's, he came to San Francisco. Yeah. Right. We, and I, I was at Tommy T's over there. Shout out Tommy T. And um, uh, I had the 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 new girlfriend with me. Looking back, shouldn't have brought her. Yeah, shouldn't yeah, have yeah. brought her. I was supposed to meet up with my daughter, my son that weekend. But they stay 45 minutes from San Francisco. I hired a driver for the weekend. And I, I said, yo, at any point, if they want to see me, I'm out. I got to go see them. Right. So we plan on lunch. My freaking opener. Went and he's cool with my son because my son's 21. My opener's younger. He went and told him all about, he, yeah, he's got the girlfriend in San Francisco right wow. now. No. Da-da. And then he started basically talking shit about me to my kids. And then my daughter's like, I don't want to see you right now. I was like, what? And I said, why? And she goes, you know why. And then she told me like, you're with that new girl and everything like that. So I'm going. Did she call her girl or she call her something call else? her something else, but whatever. But I was just like this. I go, how did they find out? They tried to tell me the paparazzi got a picture of me and her walking out of the hotel. So I started doing the timeline together. I go, wait a minute. I landed on, and fr- Friday I landed at SFO. I went straight to Tommy T's. Nobody. When we went back to the hotel in San Francisco, valet's full. I had to go park the car. We were never in the lobby together. And then Saturday morning, same thing. I went and got the car and she got in the car. Saturday afternoon, my daughter texted me and they came up with this thing that the paparazzi got a picture of me and her in the lobby. I go, we were never in the lobby together at one time. So it's all a lie. Like he told them. Why would he what do happened. that? Because he's starting shit. Damn. So I was like this. I Why wanted to have loyalty to you, man. That's weird. And I put a lot of money in his pocket over the years. How many so years I, we all together? Like seven, eight. Oh, that might be a little resentment, my dude. Yeah, it's entitlement and resentment. I don't know. So he's entitled. gone. That's I, I don't know if it's a title, but just resentment. Yeah. Like he was waiting on his shot to get you up out of there. That's what it, that's what it seems like. Yeah, well, he's unemployed now. Because truth, truth be told, his, his, his role should have been to just mind his business. Like exactly. there's no reason yeah, to even choose a side. You. But you also, my the thing was, he was with my son. I wanted him to go that weekend because then my son, my son would go on the road with me for a lot, and he got really close with my opener at the mm-hmm. time. And then um, so they were friends. So I told him, I said, "Come to San Francisco, man." I said, "Just." talk to him, find out where he's at so I can, I can see him. I hadn't seen him in a while. And that, that's why I thought, that's what I thought was going to happen mm-hmm. that weekend. I know it was going to go the other way. I thought you're supposed to hype me up. You know, you're my dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yo, your dad was hurting. Just talk to him. That type that's of stuff. That's tricky though. Cause now you're asking him to lie to his friends. Who? The opener got to lie to his friend, which is your son. I'm not Damn. asking him to lie about anything. You're saying omit. You're saying don't say I'm here with the other girl. He should have never brought it up. That's why you mind your business. He should have never nah, brought up saying, I was nah, staying. Nah, he's saying go in there and, no, and tell No, no, no. He should have not have told him that girl's with me. Yes. There's, no, he, there's nothing going to come of that. That's right. Mind your business. What if, what if, now I'm playing devil's advocate here, but what if he was like, you know what? I'll come out to the shows with you. Who? What if your son said that? Yeah, she had to stay back. She can't go. She knew that. That's respectful. I told her, I said, yeah. if I, I'm, I want to see them, right? Her sister is in law school in San Francisco. So she like, can I go? I want to see my sister. I thought it'd be yeah. a good week. I said, yeah. I said, I told her up front. I said, look, at any point, if my kids want to see me, that's it. Like yeah. you got to, I'll get you another hotel room. Cause if my daughter, someone to stay with me, I was like, you got to yeah. get another room. She was cool with everything. Well, this new woman, I'd leave you. You messy guy. 
You need to clean up your mess, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It does sound messy, not too messy. I'm like, this is just messy. Like, you are a housewife. Yeah, You're exactly. a real housewife in Cincinnati, bro. Like, real house husbands. It sounds like, like that, but it really wasn't. <laughs> wasn't you on that show? Wasn't you on Real Husbands? No. Oh, did a couple episodes. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, they, I mean, they should have. But <laughs> Would you ever turn this into material? All of it. Once like, it's final, yeah. it can all get out there but right now i can't i can't talk about all of it the process server is the 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 funniest story is just avoiding that you know gary was on the run wait why because avoiding a process server but what because i filed for divorce in ohio she filed in california after i filed so whoever gets served first that's where the divorce is chances are so it's, oh, it's the, the it's laws are the roses more. oh shit are the laws are way better in ohio for diverse, divorce no, no no i'll put california. this way they're fair in Ohio. Right. Everybody knows California ain't fair. To the yeah. breadwinner, not the man, the breadwinner. Yeah. So it's like, who who got who first? We got her in Ohio. <laughs> we got her in Ohio. That is so crazy, man. Like this. <laughs> we got her. We got her. <laughs> like this. I told him on the air, I go, I had, I hired a, uh, I hired a process server and then I hired 24-7 on the house. Eyes on it. So she left, we get <laughs> this this chick would not come out the house. Oh, like man. I'm talking, not come. I was like this. What? Still nothing. Still nothing. And then you know, I still had the ring camera attached to my phone, so I'm I can see what's going on at the front door. Then that got taken off. I go, wait, but she changed the password. So <laughs> now I didn't have the ring no more. So now I went. I don't think the process server is doing what I asked. Now that I didn't have proof, yeah. And she she sent me like this enormous bill, and I go, you're not getting paid unless she gets served. This is crazy. This shouldn't be this hard. This is what you do for a living mm -hmm. in a big city. So I hired a I hired a, a process server and private detective um, out of Ohio, and we flew to Sacramento, drove over. We got her within an hour. We got her coming out of a grocery store, and then she ended up going to Panera Bread, and we got her served. For all the black women who thought that, you know, you wanted to go to the other side, you thought it was cooler over there, you thought it was safer over there, <laughs> you thought things were different over there. Ah! <laughs> 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 I'm like this. <laughs> I'm like, it's not lying. Though. <laughs> <laughs> we told you, black men don't cheat. Sometimes okay. you're you're in it too, like you're in it. And you're going. It's just what is going on right now. Yeah. I am following her on the highway in the back seat of a car. Wait, you have to be with her. This time I did because I hired this this this. I think you did that for your own pleasure, Gary. No, no, no. Because I didn't trust. I'm getting this bill and I'm going, I, I, I know movement's better than I. Yeah. And I know, Come I know on, how she moves. Bro, that's, the, that's the ride along we need. Nah. Will Packer, you are slipping. We need this. <laughs> yeah, we, we no, need but you. he didn't tell you the stories about avoiding the process service on the road, bro. Colorado Springs, motherfucker. And they come to your shows? The, if they could, <laughs> they could. They could serve you anywhere. I wouldn't fly in the cities I was performing in. I I had a show in Baltimore. I flew into Pittsburgh and drove. So why? why <laughs> I was in. I was. I, I was in. Uh, why would they just come to the comedy club? They couldn't get to me. I hired security to sit in the front and look like fans, and they would sit there front row. I said, "Anybody comes to stage, you tackle them." That's I'm right. Like, Fuck. I act like they're the worst human being on the earth. Long before Chris Rock and Chappelle had security front row, so I had front row like every club. <laughs> Ahead of time. Gary did it there. first. You the soldier boy. I get, boy I get to the club hour and a half, two hours for the show, go through a back, get back door, like hotels, alias, like staying. I wouldn't leave the hotel. Tell them about the time you wore blackface to disguise yourself. Yeah, that was different. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 that was like this. Yeah, that was different. <laughs> but perfect, perfect example of What's my opener. Real, real quick, is, is it if they touch you with the papers? You have to take the papers, you have to take them from them. Like they have to hand them to you and you have to grab them. What so if they the, throw them at you and you just go like that? Well, that's what happened in Colorado Springs. That motherfucker said, and here's what here's what's bad. I had I had this new guy that was a bulldog out of Pittsburgh. His name's T Row. I he wouldn't let nothing happen. He had, he's been grinding, having on the road. All of a sudden he's on the road with me. He's like this. He goes, Yo, I ain't fucking this up. I said, Nobody can touch me, dude. No fans, nothing. Somebody says hi, keep him away. He was on it. He couldn't make this show in Colorado Springs. And I literally told him, I said, I think I might get served next week, dude. You're not with me. Dude, we get five minutes in Colorado Springs. I come out of the hotel, crossing over. Show, first show's at 7. It's like 5.30, right? Crossing over early. 
This guy goes, hey, Gary. And I turned and the motherfucker was pulling papers out of his back pocket. And I was like, oh, shit. Morse Chestnut, boys in the hood. I'm running, <laughs> ACL right? ACL wobbly. Dude, no, nah, yeah. No, nah, I wasn't fucked up then. You got to stop saying that. No. Ricky got shot, bro. No, but what? So I'm <laughs> running. feel like. This dude, this dude started chasing me and ran right between my opener and road manager. They just looked at him. I said, your only job was to stop him. I'm not asking you to beat anybody up. Stop him. Can they, though? Is that huh? legal? They can grab. You can grab anybody. Yeah. I said, just grab him. And if he did try to do anything, I got you. Right? They He walked right in between them. I look back, and they're just staring. And I'm running. And he threw them at me. He threw the papers. He winged it. And I went, and it didn't touch me. <laughs> and then he goes, I went like this, right? And I look down his there. I look back at my open. I go, don't fucking touch that. Because if he touches it, I'm served. If he picks it up, I'm served because he's with me. So you fired right? your road manager too? All of them. God damn. You got yeah, one job, really? bro. Wow. Don't let me get in So we get in the we get in the dress room now, and I'm now reality's kicking in, like, oh fuck, I might have got served. So now I'm I'm hot, right? And he tried to say he served me, but he didn't because we had they had videos in the alley yeah. and pictures. And I, 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 I he didn't serve me. That was close. That is amazing. That was fucking close, bro. Man. So it how'd just, you get your wife then? How, why'd she take we, the papers? We got her in uh well, I don't know. It, it, you're, you're so caught off guard. Like I've been served before for other things, but never for a divorce where I had so much riding on it. But we just got her like at a Panera Bread drive through. She went to go get something to eat. Oh, you handed it with the food? No, 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 no. She was at the drive through and she got boxed in between two cars. Uh huh. And the process server just knocked. It, w- it wasn't like all bad. It was just she knocked. Yeah. She rolled in the window and she went, you're served. And she signed it and everything. I think oh, she was in shock. Spot? I think she was in shock. Like, wow. whoa, this just this is happening. And then um we left. And that maybe that's why your kids are upset that you guys are going back and forth for that. And- no, they're they're mad. They're mad over I'm seeing a new girl. They're mad about that. But they gotta understand that now that you guys aren't together, that you're gonna have other Well, not if that woman if But not- you don't know what you don't know what 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 their brain's getting filled with at the house. I don't either. Oh, they're not talking to me. Okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. So maybe she's that's the woman who broke things. up the family as far as they're concerned. And that's not the case. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was out right. before that. You know, I we've been together 20 years. I left three different times. Just nobody knew. Oh, really? Like, I left numerous times during the marriage and just, like, came back and tried to... And I didn't want to be a weekend dad. Yeah. Probably stayed in it because of the kids. Yeah. But as far as the... If you're asking the passion... Yeah. Years. <clears throat> yeah. Years it's been gone. And, and you guys tried therapy before? We did. Yeah, but at this point, yeah. we were just spinning wheels. We're just yeah. wasting money. How long it took you to cheat? It's not what we're talking about here. True, true. It's not. I got to tell them. That's another good question. No good marriage ever ended because of cheating. That was when, a bar. when you get to cheating. When you get that to cheating, it's over with. It was over with before that. Yeah, because if you um if 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 you feel like it's something still there, like you still love this person, you still want to be with this person. Yeah. Whether you're a man or a woman, you'll forgive it. Like a man will forgive a woman yeah, if he really loves that man. woman. <clears throat> a woman will forgive a man if he she really loved mm-hmm. that man. You know what I mean? Like cheating. I don't think cheating is usually the deal not, breaker. I can't do that. Bro. Depends. At this point, I, I wouldn't. I don't she think I like would. laughing at somebody else's joke. I would. I would forget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll forget that. Busting it open for another motherfucker. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, that's too much. But at, yeah. at our age, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Because I would be thinking like how Gary said, like if you're doing this at this age, that means something is not. Yeah. connecting with us on a different level yeah, emotionally yeah. mentally spiritually yeah. like mm-hmm. it can't just be you wanted to go get some other day yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And i told her when, when i when i called her to, to tell her about the divorce everything i was just like uh i want you to be happy i said i think we'll be better people because of this i know it sounds crazy i said i'll be a better dad i'll be a better friend to you because right now and i don't one day maybe she'll admit it but there's no way she was happy there's just no way. Mm. I was miserable. For how long? Well, maybe you're telling yourself that, guy. Because you said earlier, uh, well, if I'm miserable, and I know I'm not giving you what you need, yeah, any in any kind of way, physically, emotionally, nothing. But what if her joy was making you miserable? Mm, how about that? And you've That's a good taken point. That away from her. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Also, too, when you say, um, you say you was miserable, but she was happy. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, because ignorance is bliss. If she didn't know you were unhappy and you was just going along with the motions playing along, she don't know that you're unhappy. So she's like, oh, I got a great marriage until you say otherwise. That can be valid. 
But it's also when she's telling you what she needs from you. Yeah. And you can't give it to her. Yeah, yeah. that's always. No, you made the right decision because you're unhappy. I think it's wack yeah. that you waited until the Bengals started winning to do this. Like, it's Dude, if I'd have known this, that, bro. I would have left a long time ago. <laughs> if I would have known <laughs> we're going to the Super Bowl years ago, we'd have, we, Tom Brady would have two rings. Oh, my God. I'm like this. As soon as I leave, they go, I was like, what are the chances? <laughs> <laughs> Are you shitting me right now? <laughs> it, like, it helped my healing oh. process so much. <laughs> to be a dire Bengals fan and your world's crumbling and all of a sudden we're winning? I go, oh. what? Yeah. It might have hurt your feelings though if they would have won though because they got a ring, you lost yours. You know what I mean? No, no. Uh, my, my stress <laughs> level because I was row one at the Super Bowl was I've always said, I'm going to get on stage because Kev didn't. Yeah, and yeah, I always yeah. said, I'm going to get on that fucking stage. So my stress <laughs> level was like, shit, if we win, I got to get arrested. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm getting yeah, on the yeah, stage. Yeah. I'm getting arrested. Yeah, I was like, "Oh God, how are you going to get on?" Get I had a set? little, I had a little plan with the coach. Like me and Zach's cool, so we had a little, we had a little something. And he, I think he was going to allow me to come up if I made it that far. Yeah, because I said, I said, "Yo, man," I always said, "Like kid," he goes, he goes, hey, "We'll work something out if that happens." You got to be the this. biggest Bengal fan I know outside of like I don't know Woods, any other Bengals fan, dude. This season was amazing. We're so good now. Got the quarterback. Yeah. I don't know how y'all going to be next year. This year? Like in two I weeks? I think they might figure out Joe Burrow. Yeah, yeah, They're not yeah. going to figure out Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow's figuring the NFL out. I, know, I think he'll be good. I think he'll be good in his third year. I think he might this have This is a, his third year. I thought it was his second. No, no it's his third out year. Out oh, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what a fan I am. He blows his knee out. I blow my knee out. That's why I did it. How many times you ain't no real fucking fan? Three times. Really? The last, yeah, but it was 20 some years ago when it happened last time. Doing what? Well, the first time I just pick up basketball in the Navy. Okay. This last one, shooting this movie with Kevin, Tiffany, uh, Wesley Snipes in it. It's the, the, the Chris Spencer one, Back on the Strip. It's not out yet. Oh, okay, okay. We're playing strippers. We're getting a band back together. Really? I got a little overzealous. I jumped off the stage and my shit buckled. No. I went, oh, fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how? That's how it happened. You playing just like a com comedic yeah, magic mic? Oh, yeah. Phase on Love. Bill Bellamy, J.B. Smooth. And they like, all strippers? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. I trust Chris, though. Uh-huh. I trust Chris Benson. Well, we're, it's, we're, we're getting the band back together. It's 25 years later. Got you, guys. Oh, like, you guys used to strip when Yeah, you were we younger. used to strip, and yeah. now we're older, and we're getting the band back together. Do they have younger versions of y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, okay. I'm ripped. All right. Okay. All the younger versions? I was like, okay. Okay. I like what you did was there. Was it CGI, or they wouldn't got somebody else? No, CGI. Oh, so they see your face with a different body. No, no, you don't see us for 25 years ago. Just the poster. Oh, they got younger faces. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, see okay, these okay, bodies okay, on the okay, poster, you okay. know, because because like Faison's tank. Yeah, he was like that Brandon Jacobs build. What's your scripture name? Doctor X. Doctor X. Wait, why? Because I was a surgeon in in the movie. I'm a surgeon. <laughs> okay. And and I was stripping uh, to get to medical school 25 uh, years ago. Uh, so I always had a mask on. So no, I had spray tan, but nobody knew I was black in the movie. So then I, I had to get in makeup every nobody day. Nobody knew you were white. Yeah, nobody knew I was white in the movie because I was, oh, sorry. Jesus Christ, Gary. Yeah. Sorry, man. You forgot. Man, I got, a lot, I got a lot going on. I got a lot going on. <laughs> so they had to, it was, this is a true story. First day, they're trying to spray my body, right? Because I got yeah. a mask on. Uh -huh. And I was like, literally, I'm looking at it, I go, this is too dark. But how do you say that to a, to a makeup? So it's going like, to look like blackface. Yeah, I was like this. Look, man, I, I don't want to be this black. Gary, you right. know they're coming at you. You know they're going to say you was wearing blackface, Gary. So, so well, yeah. Wesley Snipes walked in the dressing room. He goes, that's too dark. I go, if Wesley Snipes says I'm too dark, yeah. I'm too freaking dark. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. For yeah. real. Whoa. So I was like this. Yeah. Whoa. So they, I'm a more Shamar Moore shade yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. movie. That's still blackface. Yeah. They'll still say it's blackface. Not blackface, no. black body. Ro yeah, but Robert Downey Jr. was like that they in screened Tropic it. Thunder. They've screened it, and Chris said, no backlash. But you know what it is? It's me. They ain't screened it for Twitter. Well, Twitter don't count. Shit. Well, it's not face. It's you know body. What? You can do body. Count. Those bodybuilders do that shit all the time. They'll say black body. Mm -mm. I can see it now. But the bodybuilders do it. Look <laughs> That's going to be the funniest headline. What? <laughs> Gary Owens accused of doing black body <laughs> in New Christmas. And we like, what I was is black body? how long it was going to take before he called you Gary Owens. And we are, I think, maybe 45 minutes. What'd I say? Gary Owens. Oh, it's Owen. Yeah, yeah, it is Owen. No, but you did Owen, perfect. no S. You yeah, did it yeah, perfect yeah, 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 yeah. until about you know, 45 minutes in. Because I saw something recently about that. Somebody... I don't know if you corrected somebody or somebody said, stop calling them Owens. It's Owens. I always correct people, but I, I do it like laughing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like it's yeah. Owen Noes. Yeah, yeah. I probably, well, I don't know what the name of my next special will be. It'll probably be the name of the next special. It's Owen, Owen Noes. I like Dr. X. That's my stripper name in the I movie. I know. I just think that's a good one for the. For Gary the, Owen, bro. Gary X. 
I like, like ex. Oh, now you're an ex husband. Oh my gosh. You don't well, think I, so? Well, I was thinking really? Owen, like he owes his wife. Like you can Ooh, be Owen. Like, like Gary. That. Gary B. Owen. <laughs> Gary, Gary B. Owen. B. Owen. <laughs> oh, I like that. What's your middle name? <laughs> Steven. Or we'll just go with Gary S. Owen. She it. Gary. <laughs> 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 Shit. Oh, and what? <laughs> Pay some bills, what are the man. rules in Ohio? I you know what I don't. We're going to mediation, but I know it's fair. It's not it's not fifty fifty for the rest of your life. Yeah. You know what I mean? She deserves fifty fifty though. What how it no, We've but if you, if you knew if you knew the whole story, if you knew the whole story, she always, hey, bro. I'll yeah. tell you, I can tell you off air everything, yeah, but yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna yeah. air dirty laundry. No, like I don't want to know. Kenya, he's not gonna tell me nothing off air. Don't call. I don't need to be in court for it's nothing. It's not scandalous. I'm not a witness. I don't want to know, right. Gary. Right. Okay, I just right. think she deserves fifty for the time. $50? Yeah, she probably deserves for the time, bro. She deserves for the time, bro. That's Whoa. true. That's true. If you knew. If you <laughs> motherfucking knew. <laughs> Hold on. Taylor yelled out, it's a black queen still. Look, guys, if, if you, you only knew what that black knew. queen told me. If you knew what the fuck going on right now, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. really going on, yeah. yeah. Well, wait, take that shit back. Did you think royalty only does like good things? Have you followed history at all? Game of Thrones. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Cersei. <laughs> the royals oh. do fucked up shit. Yeah, oh, right? Oh, man. Yeah. If Gary. you knew, if you really fucking knew the reason, the reason. She oh, still deserves say, half huh? the time. Yeah. Not half for the rest if of your you life. If you fucking knew the reason, bro. You don't want to know. But if you knew, you would change your tune so goddamn Wait, fast really? right now. Can you say it and then we just cut it out the pod? No, no, don't no trust I don't it. trust don't you guys trust to cut it, it out. It. No, no, we, we would never put it. We, w- we wouldn't want. do that. But don't do that, Gary. I'd rather you just tell us off air. No, I don't want to know. Never mind. Uh, but even if you knew, it's not like... It's not like... Um, Damn, that's I, how it sounded? <laughs> she beats you up, she, bro. No, I, if she, she caught you, she caught you. you, know? it ain't a, she if caught you guys you knew the real reason why this is happening, and it's frustrating because I can't tell people the real reason because I don't want to throw under the bus. But why I left and everything, it's it's a lot. Really, it's a lot of shit that I found out about, and I went like this: Damn. What? What? And oh. now I'm digging. I'm getting. I'm cleaning up all these messes. And I'm getting dragged. And I'm cleaning all this shit up and not saying a word, but I'm cleaning it up. But you're kind of tired. Motherfucker, I'm you're tired, tired as fuck, clean- bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you fucking yeah, do. Yeah, and t- even the kids, that's why I, I want to get alone, them Don't alone. do it, Gary. Don't, it's not worth it. Don't no, but it. my thing is to tell the kids what's really going on because it's not scandalous. It's just irresponsibility is what, what's happening. But I was just like, if I could just tell them, be like, this is what's going on. Well, tell them when you get an opportunity to have a nice family conversation. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I will. I don't like to see all of this playing out publicly. I don't, because, you know, I don't know who to believe. I don't care to believe anyone. <laughs> I just, you know, wish it didn't, this didn't play out publicly. You know what's so interesting about the internet, man? It's like, I'm aware because I follow you. Mm-hmm. I only know your side of everything. I know your life. I know what's going on with you. And that's what the internet does. It like divides us into these little bubbles. So I know that you had a great vacation in Italy. I know that you tore your ACL. I know that you're loving what's happened with the Bengals. Like mm-hmm. from my side, I'm like floored by this podcast so far. Cause from my side, I understood that you're going through a divorce, but I didn't realize that it was this crazy. I thought you were moving on with your life and things are going well and your football team trying working out. Trying no, to move on. Literally, that's just all I know because but, I'm yeah. following you. You're your following page, him, but you know the beauty. I'm not following the pages that are covering this, your wife and all these things that are going. The, really, in a situation like this, but maybe the Gary sh- but, and Kenya is the only people you should listen to. When we start getting, when yeah. shit start getting muddy is when everybody else start chiming, chiming in because they don't know yeah. what's happening. So now but motherfuckers I, get yeah. online and start making up shit. Because I told him, I said, it was funny we was on the air and I said, yeah, if I hear she left that dusty white devil one more time and I go, and I'm sitting there going like this, she didn't. But what if she I did? I left. Let her, let their, let her get that win. I, Does I it did. matter who left though? That's got kinda, it. That's kind of egotistical, that guy. That is ego. Huh? That is that's, ego. That's, that's narciss- that is narcissism. It care. is. It is. But it's also like, um, I took all the L's for the longest, just going, just being quiet, yeah, you know, yeah, but, yeah, and, yeah. and where it's at now is like, kids aren't talking to me. Yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I'm like this. Shambles. So I'm just trying to like give it. And I still, even on this podcast, ain't said a bad word about her. Yeah. Never, never. I've never called her out her name. I can honestly say that I have never, even if we got in arguments, I never called her out her name. Not one time will she ever say I called her anything other than Kenya. I told oh, you on the breakfast club. Called her out her name. That means like called her like a bad word. Yeah, or something like that. never. 
Yeah, yeah. Never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah until she dropped that N word tape. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Is that affection? Hey, yo, just to, if she just tweets that, if you think Joe Rogan's N word tape was crazy, wait till you can't carry <laughs> over. Wow. Man, it was hard being in the movie Think Like a Man. There was all them. <laughs> it might not be an S and O N, but it's an N. Yeah. <laughs> he said it with the A. <laughs> hey, man, I wish y'all the best. I really, 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 truly do. I hate seeing this shit play out like this, man. I guess what I was it's saying. It's entertaining, though. I was saying for that. Who? Say what? It's entertaining though. For the people, yeah. Yeah. I guess what I'm saying is that there there are a lot of people out there that don't know that this is going on. So that's also kind of cool. Yeah. I know when you're like consuming internet content, you think that's the only thing that's happening in your world and everybody in the world knows about yes. it. Yes. But there's also people out there like me that are just seeing you move on and be successful and like do these really cool things. And you've been this lifelong Bengals fan. Like I remember having a moment when I saw the Bengals in the Super Bowl and I was like, Oh shit, Gary's probably so fucking yeah. happy right now. Yeah. And and think about how close I am to you. Like we operate in stand up. We yeah. operate in entertainment. So there's also a lot of people out there that know this part of Gary. Yeah. You know what I mean? As, when it's overwhelming, it feels like the whole world's calling you dusty white devil. Just know there's other people out there that are not. Well, that's what it, it helped because you, you know, I was, when I was on a process server, I literally was locked in hotel rooms yeah. and Airbnbs and wasn't going out. And the only thing I got is my laptop. So I'm just, Dang. I'm just oh, reading, consuming going, consuming all the fuck All of it, shit. I'm going, oh, God. you know, then they're like, yeah. is, are they going to turn on them? And then I, when I got back on the road and I went to Baltimore and we were sold out all weekend, I go, oh, okay, we're good. Nobody turned on me. And then when I walked on stage, everybody's clapping, like nothing wrong. And e even out in public, like nobody's ever stopped me and just went, dusty white devil. Yeah. yeah. You left it. Nobody. <clears throat> you know what I get more than anything? This shit, bro. I get, everybody gets this. Hey man, it gets better. Been through it. Yeah. Da, da, da. And then the people that called me in our line of work and just, just for support. Like, yeah. I'm not going to say who, but I told him on the air, I said, some dude called and just said, Hey man, this is before anybody got served. He goes, whether it's California, Ohio, no matter what happens, he goes, your talent won't allow you to go broke. Yes. Just know that. So even if yeah. you lose half, you'll be fine. You get it He's back. Like, I didn't say that. <laughs> I did not say that. I didn't say that. I, didn't I, didn't, say I did that. not say that. Why do you keep saying that? And why are you looking at me so disappointed? Because she is. I told you. I, I told you. Black women are looking at guy like I was th just thinking about going with a white guy. <laughs> Yo. Now. Wow. I'm talking. So you did something for the black community right here. I did a keeping lot. Keeping us together, bro. Yeah. That's uh, right. You've done more than Dr. Umar Johnson when you really think about it. <laughs> Way more. <laughs> and you're not going to catch me at the mall hollering Dr. at a Umar, chick. Dr. Umar has a whole case study about this, I'm sure. Look, you're and not you going to catch me at the Dr. mall. Dr. Umar got a class about this. Didn't he, didn't he get caught at the mall like flirting with some chick? That, that was, was just nothing. a woman talking to him. <laughs> yeah, so. he, he did a 23 of me and her. That was, a, that, was, that was like in the Malcolm X movie when a woman was coming up to Malcolm X and asking, what can she do? Nothing. That's right. That's what Dr. Umar told her. There's nothing you can do. Well, right? like something. Stay away from my brothers. Yeah, yeah. All right. There is something you can do. Yes, I, there's always <laughs> something on the side. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, it's funny, though, that you went down that rabbit hole with the internet because I would never do that to myself. What? I would never listen to what these motherfuckers got to say. Yo, the internet yeah. is the funniest place but, in the world because they swear they know what they're talking about yeah. and they say these things with such confidence online. Yeah. But it, it's interesting, too, because it didn't like, it wasn't like I was, I was reading it going like this. Oh, man, everybody hates me. I was reading it like, God, you guys really don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really yeah, don't yeah. know. Oh, that's yeah. the most frustrating. You know? That's the most frustrating, at least for me, it's like when I'm being misrepresented. So like with your, yeah. when you're being misrepresented and hated based on the misrepresentation, that's when it's hard to be silent. But how about this? And be, being a comedian, you know this, like, it's like the people on the internet that are upset they were never going to come see me anyways. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. I worry about the people that pay to see tickets. Yeah. yeah. And pay tickets to see me and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And I told him, I go, the the best thing that's happened through all this is, you know, I'm, I'm not talking to my kids. I don't know what's going on. My oldest, my stepson, who who I raised, basically, um, his aunts came to my show in Sacramento a couple weeks ago. And I thought they were about to go in on me. I go, oh, shit. So when they they came to the meet and greet, I go, why are they come to meet and greet? And they come up. And the first thing I said, I go, do you guys hate me? And he's like, no, you took care of our Emilio. We'll never hate you. Yeah. I was like this. Oh, yeah, I did raise a kid that wasn't mine. Yeah. That was hers. Yeah. And he's doing great in life right now. Yeah. Got his own house. He got a girlfriend just doing life. Is he still right? talking to you? Mm-mm. God no, damn. damn but that's his mom. Yeah, yeah that's I get his it. Mom. He's I'm not going to come around to the mom 
yeah. comes around, you know? My thing is like her dad. She will come around. I hope because no, her will. dad died. <clears throat> her dad got murdered when she was six. My dad wasn't around and my stepdad wasn't a good person. So, you know, you know, you know what it's like to deal with not having a dad around. And now you got somebody that is around and to throw the word deadbeat out. Like, I'm like, there's so many women out there that have deadbeat dads, yeah, that yeah, yeah. kids have deadbeat dads. Yeah. And that wasn't me. So to throw me out like that, I was like this. Now, you know, that's not true. Everything else we can talk about. That's not true. Damn. You know what I mean? Especially with kids that don't have dads. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was there. Yeah. I, I was there. What about Latinas? How do you feel about Latinas? Uh, which version? Like from what Puerto country? Puerto Rican. Yeah, we could do that. We could go Caribbean. Mexican. Yeah. Florida Cubans. Florida. And, you don't like Florida. You think all the crazy people come from Florida. <laughs> they do. I love Florida. But yeah, like, there's all the crazy crazy. people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. See, I don't know the Bronx. Oh. I know Florida. Oh. Put it like this. In the Bronx, did you see the dude dragging the casket? Just for no <laughs> reason. He was dragging a casket in the middle of the street. And was it, was that, a, it, was a guy, it was a guy. The funniest part of the video was a guy was walking with him. While he's dragging the casket and the guy's like trying to stop traffic so he can get through. I'm like, help him with the fucking casket. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the type of shit that happens in the Bronx. What was he yeah. dragging it for? I have no idea. It was someone, just a casket. Someone gonna need it in the Bronx. Somebody definitely gonna need it. Yeah. Uh, let's pay some bills, man. Uh, you want to talk Blue Chew? Let's do it. What's up, everybody? Uh, this episode has been brought to you by Blue Chew. Okay. Best boners in the business. Let's say, for example, you're in your 40s newly single, you got a hot young chick, you're taking around the world, Grand Canyons, Italy, other places. Listen, you might not have that young 20-year-old dick anymore, but that might be what she expects. That's right. Okay? So what are you going to do? How are you going to crack it open? Clean it out. You got to go with the blue chew, okay? Same active ingredients inside Viagra, Cialis, but this is the chew. This is the one that we rock with, and this one newly divorced Rich dudes that are traveling the world and living their wildest dreams are also rocking with, okay? And you're going to get it for free. All you got to do is pay. <laughs> Gary just looked to see if I'm reading copy. <laughs> that's, like, that's, he freestyled. Like, somebody read this? He goes, he goes, all you got to do is pay $5 shipping. And you're going to get your first month free. Just go to bluechew.com. Use the promo code IDIOTS, okay? And you get your first month free. Just pay that $5 shipping. Go out there. Get that. What else we got, Charlotte? Does it uh, make you congested? Say what? Does it make and you congested? If it actually relute, you know, just there's nothing left. That comes out. You too. need it, bro. You need Everything it. Everything comes out. You got a new. You got a new boo. You're gonna have to, you know, show her that it wasn't the dick that caused problems in your marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. You are gonna have to show her, bro. You know what I mean? I'm serious. You don't know if she used to dating white guys or not. So you gotta let her. You gotta dispel all myths. True. What's it, what is it again? Blue, Blue. Chew. <laughs> Blue Chew. It's like, yeah, yeah. What is it again? Yeah. Is, it, is it lowercase? <laughs> Promo code? Was, was is this is a church choose? announcement. Yeah. Uh, Show what you got, church announcements wise. Uh, I, I just want to say thank you so much. Everybody support the special, man. We uh we just finished selling bought it. it. Thank you. Thank I you. Bought it. You were great, man. You always promote. You always show love, man. Thank you so much. Uh, So, so yeah, man. Thank you guys so much for that. That was absolutely fucking incredible. And, uh, yeah, life changing. Light, oh, absolutely life changing. And yeah, it's probably gonna come up in the divorce. What? What's that? Like you bought the special. So you just you're buying other people's specials. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this my friend. It's only fifteen dollars. <laughs> Still, like, yeah, you just got fifteen dollars to trick off on this website. I'm like this. Yes. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> so thank you everybody for supporting that. Thank you so much. And if you can't, uh, like, if you didn't buy it, fucking pirate it. It's available. You know, people put them up on them pirating sites. So you can go do that. And then uh, eventually I'll have it up on YouTube. So if you don't figure out the pirating shit, we'll get it up there on YouTube one of these days. Uh, yeah. Mine is simple. Make sure you go get some of 85. That's our latest Audible original from me and uh, Kevin Hart's company, SBH Productions at Audible. Make sure you go grab that. Thank you to everybody that's been getting it. Um, make sure you scream hell of a week. Uh, my late night talk show, yes, Gary sir. Owen was on the last episode along with Flame Monroe and Chi Ose and uh, Issa Rae. They was on the last episode, so make sure you scream that on Paramount Plus. And we're going to be off for two weeks, so I already know uh, that's going to make Reddit say that the show's been canceled. But we're off for the, <laughs> we're on hiatus for the next two weeks because uh, we're on the same schedule as The Daily Show. So Trevor's 
taking off for two weeks. We're, we we off for two weeks, so we'll be back uh, in a couple weeks with a new episode of Hell of a Week. Same time, Thursday night, 11.30 on Comedy Central. Uh, Gary, what do you got? I said too much already. But I know you got some shows coming up. But... Oh, yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. Okay, this weekend I'm in Cincinnati. Oh, you home. Oh, Ohio. You home. Next week I'm in San Diego. Oh, this Thursday I'm in Houston at the Toyota Center with 50 Cent. Oh, Tycoon Weekend. Tycoon Weekend this okay. weekend. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you and Joseph Sakura got to get a picture together. I'm sure he'll be out there this Oh, weekend. he better not show his motherfucking face. Man, what if your wife ends up with him, bro? Yo, this oh guy my God. is crazy. What, man? I'm just Yo, saying. Joseph, this don't show your motherfucking crazy. face, bro. <laughs> what? This guy <laughs> What was that shit? Hold on. What was that old joke you had, Joseph? crazy. It's like when you're not cheating, it's a tribute. It's a tribute. <laughs> <laughs> You cheat with somebody that looked like your ex, bro. That's a trick. Can you imagine? Bro. You, bro. you imagine? <laughs> you like this. Oh, guess the dick wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> you got huh? somebody that looks just like it. I don't know if you got the same dick. Huh? You don't know if you got the same dick. Yeah, the same face. facial expression, though. Face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about the face. <laughs> Oh, I don't man. think that's gonna come up. Hopefully not. Wait, so when you're when you're with Fifty Cent, you open his show, dude. This show's like. It's comedy and music, so it's going to be like... How the is first, that? They're going to do the first half comedy. And, you know, sometimes they'll do intermission. The intermission is going to be the musician. Not intermission, but it's going to be like four music acts. Yeah. And then, we, then we're coming back with like four comics after the music. So is everybody seated at least? Yeah, it's the Toyota Center. Yeah, okay, yeah. so it's, it's like R&B. It ain't rappers. Well, Flo Rider is yeah, the only yeah, rapper, yeah. but he's going up after the... And then, they'll, then they're doing the singers after the com comedians are done. So it's like comedy, some music, comedy, the music. And so, how long? Show starts at 8. We got to be out of the building by 11.30. Oh, wow. We'll that's, see if it starts on time. But that's the thing. Because, I mean, you know, you got to be out the building. When they say you got to be out the building, it means like every minute, it's thousands of fucking Yeah, 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 yeah. I always do that when, when I'm on them, them ensemble tours. You know what I mean? I'm the, it's always the best. Because when I'm with Epps, I'm usually going up right before Mike. And literally, if it's running long, they'll look at me like gear. I go... Yeah, I can do 15. Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that. I need my 30 minutes. I'm yeah, like, yeah, 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 15? Yeah, yeah. No problem. But you still get the same pay. Yes, same sir. check. Yeah, 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 I literally yeah, yeah. look at them like this. They, they always go to me because they yeah. know I ain't arguing. I'm like, yeah. how long? 12? 12? Got, Got it. it. <laughs> and literally, I'll be like this. So then I told it, good night. Yeah. I'll be in the middle of a bit and be like this. Yo, you guys have been awesome. Enjoy my gifts. You don't even get to your closer. <laughs> I don't even need to. Damn. If you're funny for the whole duration, and it's not like they're going to be like, what just happened? Okay. Most comics, that's the problem. They go long. Because they want to get that last big boom. Yeah. No. Just tell me you appreciate him coming out and That's say it. goodnight. That's it. What is it weird following music? I'll tell you Friday. Oh, you never, oh, you done, never done it before? before? Not like this. Not like where this. I've done shows it. like, you know, where they've had R and B and comedians, but usually you're hosting. And or do you, you have a set for that specifically? Because it's such a different environment. Like people are staying and they're talking. I'll figure it out. Really? Well, good thing I'm not going first. Yeah, that's... And I'm going the second half of the show. So, so then, I'll see what the vibe is. Yeah. You just kind of figure it out. A lot of shows like that, I'll just go local. Yeah. Like Houston stuff. Like yeah. Houston radio commercials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got some funny ones. <laughs> yeah. Think like yeah. the neighborhoods. Yeah. This, I don't, we're not doing that long. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, think we're doing, I'm, I think I'm scheduled for 15. Perfect. By the time we're running late, which we're going to run late. Yeah. Six. <laughs> <laughs> let's 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 talk about I want to talk about two more things. Well, I want to talk about one more thing and then I want to do asking idiots because okay. uh me and Gary both got a, a flight to catch. But oh, shit. I saw this um I saw this this morning. Well last night and we talked about it this morning. And it's this great documentary on Vice. And you should absolutely watch it. It's only 17 minutes, it's on YouTube. And the name of the documentary is How Robbers Use Snapchat to set up social media influences. And they interviewed the guy who was uh, helped orchestrate the robbery of Kim Kardashian. Mm. Mind you, he's like 70-something years old. He said that he has no remorse for the incident because Kim Kardashian should be a little less showy. And he said that these people are insensitive to those who don't have money. And so he has no remorse. He was like, yo, I see them on television. And they're throwing jewelry and stuff away. We'll come collect it. Say what yeah. you want to say. He has a point. And you would be a fool to yeah. not take heed to what a robber is saying. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people that would agree with him. He, you think? The majority of people would probably agree with him. I mean, if you go to like, well, I was in Morocco, right? And I saw something really interesting when I was in Morocco. The wealth is all inside. 
So the outside of the building looks pedestrian, right? Yeah. You could even argue it looks poor. Sometimes they'll have like a beautiful door or something like that. But all the wealth is in these like riads on the inside. Stunning. You open it up. Beautiful. There's like a fucking roof. But everything is inside because yeah. motherfuckers know that people are starving on the street. That's right. And if you're just holding all your wealth, you got these big windows. That's right. You're basically going, hey, it's in here if you got That's the right. balls to take it. Yo, there's this dude on the documentary, and he's got like a mask on and shit because he doesn't, and his voice is like kind of, they, they distorted it. He goes, it makes my dick hard to take these people's jury off. He said, it makes my dick hard when I, when I stripped them of this, their, their clothes, not their clothes, but their jewelry, jewelry. and their, their material items. I was like, God damn. Wait, are Jesus. they not in prison? No, he did two years. That's it? He did two years, bro. He's 72. He did two years and he came home. But that's he, worked it, no? Two years to rob millions of dollars? He got, he got off of like $10 million in jury. All I'm simply saying is if you're on, if you're going to flash your shit on social media, at least have security when you're out and about. Yeah. I don't understand people who show off like things that they bought people in their family because now you're making the yeah, family a target. And they don't got uh, security. They like don't you. have the security like you wow. do. I don't want nobody to know. Like, no disrespect. I saw Tyrese buy his daughter a car. I don't want nobody to know my daughter driving. Yeah. I don't want nobody to know my woman driving. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I just feel so like. There's so much value in the flex now. Is it? Like, well, there's value in the flex now because you think it's safe to flex. But once people feel like their safety is in question, then those that flex. Well, then you the got same. the, on the other side, you got the, with the Andrew Tate dude. Yeah. Yeah. He's flexing. And that's what's getting him all the followers and yeah. his but money he's flexing and stuff. muscles. Like, he's working out and shit. Uh, he's flexing like he his Bugatti, Bugatti and, and shit. Well, he won't give up. People mm -hmm. like that, it's just when they catch you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like you're, I don't know if it's the Bugattis and shit that's really making him pop off as much as it is the philosophy. Yeah. I never even heard philosophy. this. I never heard of him until I did Logan Paul's podcast. Oh, when'd you do Logan's? Uh, a couple of weeks ago. When I, I flew back. Where was I? I, flew, I think I was in Miami. When I flew back from Miami, I, they were in New York and I went and did it. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, know yeah. this. Why don't you tell me? With Logan and uh, George and... Um, yeah, Mike Malak. Mike, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like those, those guys. guys. Yeah, them guys are dope. When but, is that coming out? I have no idea. I don't know. How long ago was this? Like a week, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A week, yeah. A week or two. A week or two ago. But he, they asked me about dude. I'm like, I have no idea who that is. Yeah. Like, I had, like, that was the first time I ever even heard his name. I didn't know until the, the Paul fight fell apart. So really? This is, so and this is a perfect start. example of like people operating in different spheres. He was the most Googled person on the internet, more than Kim Kardashian. Really? Last week. So the most searched person in the world. Last week. It was like last week or maybe two weeks ago or something like that. Well, that's probably why he ended up on so many people's radar recently because because of this, what he got banned from Twitter. Well, then and he got banned from Instagram, Facebook. But the, the point that I'm trying to say here is that like, the, he's like out of your guy's bubble mm -hmm. and he was dominating our bubble. And, and just as I didn't know that you were going through these marital, uh, this marital trauma, but mm -hmm. you were like completely aware of it. And you know, all the fucked up shit that he's going through. Yeah. That's what happens now with the internet yes. is that your world you think yes. is the world. Yes. And it's not. Yes. Andrew Tate, I thought was dominating everything. You guys are going, I didn't know who that motherfucker was mm -mm. until recently. Bro, I saw somebody on Reddit. I, I, I went on Reddit last night. Funny, Reddit is hilarious. Right? <laughs> Reddit is the most hilarious. I haven't been on Reddit in so long, but I went on Reddit last night. Reddit is hilarious because these people on Reddit really talk like they know what's going on. And somebody on Reddit said, yeah, Charlemagne needs academics on his show, not Don Lemon. <laughs> 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 I'm like, you should get academics on I would, I, would, I, I would love to have Ak on the panel or something yeah, like that. But yeah. my point is, it's Don Lemon. Don yeah. may not be nothing in your world, but in the world i don't even want to say the world world but in the world world it's don fucking lemon i don't think you need don lemon bro hey you need dr umar That's you say the that but then guess what uh when i when i had don on hell of a week you know he went it went it went viral for some things he said about cnn mm. and about how you know if he's not able to speak truth to power we can insert this if he's not able to speak truth to power yeah. he'd, he'd walk away yes i will be able to do what i do on cnn and okay. if i'm not allowed to be able to tell and which is to tell the truth so if if I'm not allowed to do that, then I will go on and do it somewhere else. But, I don't think that um, that's I don't think that's exactly, exactly that. what you'd be willing to walk. You'd be willing to walk. Uh, they stifled you like uh, that. And I'm not only just CNN. CNN. Yeah. People don't, don't allow journalists, journalists to be journalists, journalists. Because, because again, again, we hold the powerful accountable. accountable. We question, question heads of state, the leader of the free world, kings, queens, dictators. That is what our jobs are. So that was a headline. Like that was. Fox News headline, all the yeah. news sites. And then it resurfaced again yesterday 
because of all the cuts that Chris Litt made uh, at CNN. Super my guy, Chris Litt. Chris was executive producer on my talk show uh, last season, but now he's president of CNN, so of course he can't do it. But like, that's the, everybody has an audience is what I'm right, saying. Right, and right, right. everybody's audience is different. You can't discount any of it. Just because I don't know who Andrew Tate is, that don't mean millions of people don't. Right. You know, just because you might not give a fuck about Don Lemon, millions of people do. Like, did on, you ask? Did you ask Don Lemon about that monkey pox? No, nah, I didn't get to that. I didn't why get not? To the, I didn't get to the pox. So why, Gary, yo, listen. Yo, yo, <laughs> why not just ask about the monkey? Yo, who's gonna be the the Tom Hanks of monkey pox? Who's gonna be like the first straight guy that comes out and says it's not enough it. people getting it? Son, every gay dude got it. Not really. Yo, you gotta talk to more gay dudes. Bro. It's like twenty something thousand people <laughs> in the talk world. To more gay dudes, bro. It yeah. might be thirty thousand people in the world now, bro. Well, now all the gay dudes are vaccinated. It's more people Super supposedly gay. getting into heaven than it is goddamn that got monkeypox. It's 144,000 supposed to get into heaven. Bro. I'm just saying, bro. That's the shit you can show off on social media. Nobody gonna rob you for. Bro. What? Show them monkey bumps pox? all day. Yeah, Word yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them nah, bumps I don't got show. Monkey pox. Not until fucking Tom Hanks comes out with it. <laughs> I don't got no money. I got, I got COVID again. Uh, <laughs> go to Ask an Idiot's Tale. <laughs> <laughs> Until someone else straight huh? comes out of Mogey Pucks. Okay, let's stop and pay this ad, and then we'll come back and do Ask an Idiot's. Uh, salute the Ridge Wallet. Uh, we appreciate you for sponsoring this episode of The Brilliant Idiots. The Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards, plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including the Hennessy Performance, the Carbon Fiber, and Burnt Titanium. The wallets have over 50,000 five-star reviews. The durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. The Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. It's made with RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pickpocketers. And here's a special your bonus for all our listeners. With every dollar spent on the website before September 30th, you'll be entered to win a brand new upgraded Ford Bronco or $75,000 if you prefer cash. What would y'all take? The $75,000 or the Ford Bronco? The Ford Bronco is white, by the way. Yeah, Ford Bronco. Ford Bronco? Uh, no. What would you take, guys? Who's 75 again? grand or the white Ford Bronco? 75 grand. Okay. When it will be announced in October? Oh, no, no, no. Before or after the divorce is final? After the divorce is final. Yeah, 75 grand. 75 grand. <laughs> <laughs> to get your Ridge wallet and to enter for a chance to win a Ford Bronco, go to ridge.com slash idiots. Use cu coupon code idiots to enter. Now, let's do some asking idiots. Taylor! Uh, Dennis got to mind his business, bro. Dennis is getting in the way of progress, man. Like, the U.S. is already working things out with Russia behind the scenes. It'll happen. Only thing Dennis can do is complicate the situation because Russia's not letting Brittany Griner go for free, bro. Of course not. It's not happening. Okay. Facts. <laughs> what is your feeling on how do you feel about Brit Brittany Griner? Here's my thing. Really? <laughs> she might be having a ball in that prison. Yeah. <laughs> She's Queen B. <laughs> yeah, she, Dude, they're just they're G. serving her all kinds of Russian nah, I believe dishes. that. I believe that though. I believe that. Oh yeah, come on. Like it's bad, but it ain't that bad. Let's think about it. But also, you have to know. When you leave the country, you just got to know the rules of the country you're in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I went to Dubai before Dubai got popping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was during Ramadan. And I, I was asking, I had a guy show me. I was doing shows on military bases, right? I was like, what do you do? He goes, no, we don't do anything. We don't eat till this and this. I go, oh, I'm just going to stay in my room. He said, yeah, you should. So I wouldn't, I didn't go out of my hotel till it was safe to go out till everybody else was out. Mm -hmm. so I didn't want to be, I didn't know what was disrespectful. Went to the mall. I was like, you see girls. I didn't know if I could look at them, say hi, flirt. No. Yeah. So I just like, like. Phew. Is it hard doing comedy over there? We is. I was on a military base though. Oh, so you're talking to Americans. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, a, it was, it was cool. It was called Tent City. So the, the ship will pull in and they literally on this base, they had these tents and all the tents had like, it was like a Burger King tent or yeah. a Wendy's tent uh, or like a Gap tent, H&M wow. tent. So it was all these, it wasn't a lot in it, but it was enough. They have food? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, like Wendy's would have like, you could get hamburger, cheeseburger, fries. Same with Burger King. It wasn't a lot of options, yeah, but it yeah, still yeah. was Wendy's food. Was it good? Food. I didn't eat it, but I'm saying yeah. it was Tent City because I performed at like three in the morning because the Super Bowl was on. It was the Giants and uh, Ravens Super Bowl. Wow. So I went up before the game. And then I came on halftime and did some little games for the military guys and stuff. It was cool. It's cool all experience. Right. Um, let's do some asking idiots. All of these questions are for Gary. Gary, first question: What are you doing for the Black Lives Matter movement? 
No, I think they seem like they got a lot going on. Got a house. And the girl got a mansion <laughs> and stuff like that. So I'm not, I don't give the charities. I, I'll give to a person. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. giving to cancer, but I'll give to a person that has has cancer to help uh, their lives. Why wouldn't you give to just whole cancer research? Because I don't know where it's going. True. There's so many stories that the money is not a lot at where it should. So I'll have, so <clears throat> there's, there's the video of me sending that kid to college, yeah. right? I go, I'm not going to send, I'm not going to donate to a school. When I can, the money I could, I could just send one kid to college. And at least he's, I know he's in college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so I sent a kid to college. Got you. You know? Um, Mark 19 wants to know, Gary, do you think you're blacker than Seed of God, but whiter than Andrew? Who's Seed of God? Me, Charlemagne the God. Oh, Seed of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking some singer. (laughs) (laughs) Seed of God? (laughs) Who's Seed of God? (laughs) Do you think you're blacker than me, but whiter than Andrew? No, I'm definitely not as black as you. I'm blacker than Andrew, though. Okay. So that, however you want to answer that. <laughs> no, you're whiter. No, but you'd have to be whiter than Andrew. You're not as white as Andrew. Not as white as Andrew. Really? No, definitely not. Blacker than me. But then there's parts that are like super white. Country parts. Yeah. Yeah. But we, we have a lot in country. common. But that's the thing. Yeah, Broke yeah, country yeah, has no, a lot no. in common with broken black. Yes. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. Lot. Of course, absolutely. The only difference between a trailer park and like, the projects, we don't have the gun violence. One, we would probably shoot ourselves. Yeah. Like the, the, the neighbor there, there, when but, I grew up. But you know, there is, in those poor white neighborhoods, there is a lot of uh, what you would call white on white crime. Yeah, but. Proximity to each other. Yeah, you know but, like, yeah but we don't have, we don't have the, we just don't have the, the murder rate. But everything else yeah. is the same. Yeah. Outside yeah, yeah, of yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, we my first white friend, my guy Thomas, man, salute to Thomas. Thomas, Used to live right by us on the dirt road. Like, yeah, he, I, I never even looked at Thomas as white. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. just did it. Like, yeah, he was just yeah. Thomas. Well, you, you know my, what I mean? You were from South Carolina. It's yeah. interesting that my bunkmate in boot camp it was what blew my mind about black and white people and broke and everything else because his name was Copera, Washington, small town in South Carolina. We're sitting there, you know, boot camp, everybody's the same. We all get the same money. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he got these pictures and he was on a farm, John Deere. I, was, I go, are you on vacation? He was like, oh, that's where I live. I go, but I don't live on farms. That's all we did. He called his brother from Mississippi, <laughs> this brother from Georgia, his brother from Arkansas. He goes, come here, Gary. What'd you just say? I go, but I don't live on farms. It was like, do the right thing. Yes, motherfucker. They all came in. you see that in Ohio? In Ohio? Black people live in cities. No black people live in the farms in the Midwest. I thought Chappelle got a farm. Chappelle's not like black like that. <laughs> <laughs> he's different. He's transcendent. <laughs> he's trans what? He's transcendent. Oh, how about this? He's not man. black or white. He's Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Like literally, like the Klan <laughs> likes Dave Chappelle. Like they don't like black people. They're like, are you different? <laughs> are you different? That's different. You made me laugh. You know what I mean? There's those people uh, that just they transcend race. Yeah. You know, and he's one of them. So he's, that's not. Does he live on a farm? Or, I, I thought he did. I just thought he had mad acres. He's in Yellow Spring. Hold on, scroll up, Taylor. Cause I don't remember asking Gary this. Somebody is saying to reflect on the clip with Charla asked Gary how many years has he been faithful. When was this? Hmm. <laughs> was it in the- yeah, look, look, hold on. Mm-hmm. We just reflected ah, on it. Good, I just, mm, look, good. I just ah, reflected good. on it like this. <laughs> What's his name again? Ahmad ninety nine Alamari. Stay at my motherfucking business. <laughs> Ahmad, I. How long you been faithful, bitch? How long you been faithful? <laughs> Fucking bitch. Fucking Ahmad. That's always an Ahmad. Oh my god. Ahmad's are the worst. Oh, man. Uh, Jojo Doe wants to know, brushing your teeth or wiping your ass? You got to give up one. Which one and why? Ooh. Oh, wipe my ass. Yeah. Wipe your ass because you can still get in the pool or you get you can get it wet. Oh, no, like no, no. I'm wiping my ass. Mm. I'm not brushing my teeth. I'm brushing my teeth. Oh, really? You just go like that. You can clean your ass still, though. Yeah, but your teeth, like. I'd give up brushing my teeth. Because you could gargle. You scope, yeah. Yeah, you, you could you, floss. Yeah. You know oh, what I, I mean? thought that went with it. I thought nah, it was all in one. Nah, it says brushing nah. teeth. I would still fall. Oh, okay. I would still be able to well, goggle. That's different. All right, I was wrong. I could chew gum all day. <laughs> I can admit it. Yeah, I got to wipe that ass, though. All that right. ass, you know, ain't nothing like a long day and you get in that shower and you rub that towel in the crack of that ass. We don't do that. Ooh. You don't? I got two towels. Y'all don't use two towels? White people don't no. do that with the towels. Uh, you don't wipe your asses? No, we do. I use, enough, the towel I use enough toilet paper. What do y'all yeah. use, a loofah? No, no, just just don't. Your hand? I just pull out some dangles with my hand, yeah. All uh-huh. right. Bend over, open your cheeks, let the shower water. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. know why I'm getting divorced. Yeah. 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of stories that come out though. He that's, used to be in the shower, bent over, the bag. with his cheeks open, letting the water hit his butthole. So I said, Gary, if that's what you want, I'm not the person for you. <laughs> All right, last one. <laughs> JP says, which celebrity would y'all be a pet for? A pet for? What does that oh, mean? Oh, because The Rock Johnson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. A pet? Yeah, which celebrity would y'all be a pet for? Hmm. I guess what type of pet too? Well, I'm yeah. I would be like I'm gonna be like a Yorkie. For who? Mm. You guys can think too, you don't have to wait on me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which celebrity would I be a pet for? Uh you guys are looking at me like this. Just dead air. I go, you guys go ahead. You're letting yeah. you sing, letting you process. Yeah, like I'm <sighs> trying to help your podcast yeah. out here. Uh not Lady Gaga. Yeah, her dog got kidnapped. She yeah, like, uh -uh. yeah, definitely not that. I'm trying to think. I don't know. A celebrity I'd be a pet for. I mean, it's really just which celebrity would you want to like do things to you sexually, right? As <laughs> man, shut up. Isn't that man. the question? You? That's not the question. There's no celebrity I would want to be a pet for. Yeah. I, I, there's, there's people in the world, but they're not like celebrities. It doesn't matter. Somebody else would be raising you. Yeah, yeah that's they're true. Not even Maybe not, though. In. Celebrities, especially when they don't have kids, like you really like their emotional support, their comfort. Uh, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Mm. Is that the last question? Maybe we do another one. All right, yeah. yeah we don't have anything for that. Let's see. Uh, Serena Williams. Mm. She'd be in the sports, probably sports thon, the TV. This is a good one. <laughs> Booby Jones. <laughs> Ask Gary. Okay, the we can origin. end on this. Ask, yeah. Ask Gary the origin of the olive oil. I love you joke from Comic View. Oh my God, that's an old joke. And I've seen like a thousand comics do it since okay. then. So they still we did it. We didn't. We used to do it in high school. So I don't know where I came up with it or whatever. But it was just like, um, I, it's true. I I dated this deaf girl at Gallaudet University in D.C. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, well, I met her at this club called Tracks. It was a Friday night, and she was dancing. And I was like, I went up and started dancing with her. Yeah, I didn't know she was deaf because she was with the beat. So right. she wrote, took me over to the bar and she started writing down, I'm deaf because I'm talking to her and she's not talking back. I'm like, why is she talking back? She says, I'm deaf. And I was like, how are you dancing? She goes, we come here and go to that guy you deck. We can feel the vibrations because the room was small. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I said, well, goddamn, hope they did it. Don't scratching. This motherfucker's stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same yeah, yeah. Yeah, shit, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So then she would, you know, we, I, I, was, I was with her for a couple months. And then I said, I can never say, I love you though. I would just say olive oil. Instead of I love you because it looked like it to a deaf girl. So I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> So you was lying to her the whole time? You didn't really love her? I was freaking 18, bro. Wow. 19. Wow, you set a precedent, Gary. How did you guys communicate on dates? We just like, I well, more I just used to go to her dorm room. And just when, like, we went, But she played volleyball and basketball. And oh, when wow. I couldn't, it was, this is the honest guy truth, and this sounds so insensitive. Yeah. This is when I knew I couldn't do this was this before cell phones, before texting. So she would have to call me through this third party and the lady would be like, hi, I'm with the so-and-so deaf line. So I would say something, lady, it'd be a long pause and the lady would go, ha, 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 Gary. <laughs> Whoa, that was, that's not how I want the joke to land. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so then, what? So then, like I'd say Same something like, the girl yo, I was on Charlotte oh. and Charlotte said this dumb shit. Ha, 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 was such a long pause. So I go to the basketball game. It's silent. You're at a deaf college. You can hear the scoreboard going click, 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 click. This brother, and it's like a Phoenix stereotype. Guy that's whole team was white. They had one black on the team. This motherfucker came down, did like a 360 dunk. Yeah. Everybody took the cups, put them up through their mouth, and yelled at it because they could feel the vibration off the cup. So there's like a thousand kids go. <laughs> and I was like this I go I'm sitting here like this what the fuck is going on and my girl's the loudest <laughs> I was like this oh this is over this relationship is over but did, but did you hit though I don't talk about that shit I'm not talking about it with what she sound like in bed like that with the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Gary, 
Gary Owen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gary, thank you for coming to the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Right now, yeah. I'm going to have her freaking get on the internet and go off oh, on me. Oh, hey, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Was Marky Mark Field of Vibration her favorite song back then? Remember <laughs> that joint? Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? Weird Such story. A good vibration. I was in the Navy at the time around I was dating her, and I ran into him at the Cincinnati airport. He was coming in for a concert at King's Island. And Marky got Mark. Yeah. Got like five big black guys around him, and he's so, I didn't know he was that short. He's in the middle. This is like 92. That was the funky bunch around him. Yeah, he was like, I was like, I was like, oh, it's Marky Mark. Yeah. I literally yelled, I go, Marky Mark. Yeah. Idiot. You know, I'm 18, 19. <laughs> Marky Mark. He gave me the whole. So, so, so that was the only time I met him. Oh, man. Now he's yeah. doing a movie with Kevin on Netflix that I thought was the beast. Yo, he said that to me earlier. He was like, yeah, Regina Hall's playing Kevin Hart's uh, girlfriend in the movie Beast. I'm like, what is you talking about? The movie where Idris is fighting the lion? I go, oh, I fucked up. Sorry, it's another movie. I combined two movies. I completely fucked it up. I go, yeah, Regina's got a movie out right now, The Beast. She's Kevin Hart's girlfriend. He goes, she's not in the movie. Idris is in the movie. I go, fuck, I'm sorry. I fucked that all up. She didn't take me on Netflix. Gary Owen, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Gary. Whatever. As always, if you think Thanks, that we're guys. smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.